they'll be calling you a radical. This is out this morning, and why is this so dramatic right here? Look who's reporting it, the repressive machine themselves, the Wall Street, has let them eat cake. Marie Antoinette, the whole 1% freaking cabal is starting to get nervous. You look at these numbers. This is TEPCO's numbers. You read these numbers. And if and then people come to me and say, I use radical language, that I'm crazy, I'm, you read these fucking numbers and you fucking tell me. Holy, how fucked are we? Oh my God. This is exactly what Einstein, Sokolov, Oppenheimer, all of them hypothesized, it's happening. Can you believe this? this has been allowed to go on for 600 and what? 67, 68, 69, 670 days, I believe it is today. Or wow. Oh my God. I want to talk about the water calm, San Diego, California, Oregon, Washington, the entire North America. It doesn't matter if you live in New York or freaking Eugene, Hippocrit, Oregon. It doesn't matter. It's in the freaking thing. As this is the first day we've had any even single drop of rain in like three, four months. The hottest summer in the history of the United States. Blackouts, huh? Blackouts in Japan, huh? huh? This is how tragic this is to the Japanese populace. I'll tell you how tragic. The Northern Fishing Alliance today, they're having massive, violent protests over there. Incredibly violent. The fishermen are going cycle. They're, they're done. They know it. They're going. Any media reporter here? Can you believe what this freaking country has evolved into? And people say, well, what's the answer? All they do is, it's simple answers. Simple answers, same answers when we had the Revolutionary War. As you know, return it. Do you think it's irony? They named him George. It's the retainer of George. You know, let's live in the time of Dixon. We've had regressive freaking wages for 34 consecutive years. Kiss the ring. Simple concept. This concept that we formed this country on, tariffs. Simply bring back usury laws and tariffs, but the American populace is too. Have I given up on the American populace? Yeah, the baby boomer and the they're so far gone. This is the dumbest, most ignorant, repressive, you know, support their own abusers in history. But the abusers are going to pay this price. This is going to let them in. This is Mary Antoinette on Balco all over again because they're not above it. You people out there say, oh, they have all the money to survive. I've been in that bone marrow transplant center fighting for my life. Tell that to Steve Jobs. How many billions of dollars has killed him? You know, they're not above it. I'm in that unit. I see these millionaires fly in, you know, in their Learjets up there at the U, Huntsman Center, those phony pricks as they create an industry giving you cancer. They own Huntsman Chemical, by the way. Then they want to treat you for cancer. This is so creepy and evil. Let's talk about the water calm. And I'm going to talk about this. People say, oh, there were no international studies. I've read this international study over and over. There are many international June. 2011 study by the international team. The international team is all over. There's dozens of them in June of 2011. They say it specifically. 40 miles off the coast of Fukushima, 300 meters down in the water column. The radioisotopes, they did three columns. One, three times. That's enough to scare the bejesus in. The second one was 30 times. The third one, 1,000, that was in 2011. Now remember, this is not pollution. This is radionuclear fallout. Not only does it not dilute, it is not the solution, it grows. The wind was blowing out of Fukushima, and we got hammered. But not only did we get hammered then in North America, we are the new downwinders. We got hammered all this month, hardcore. Number three is going crazy. Those steam that's coming out of number three as the wind blows out, it is so lit up with radio. It's like 50 nuclear bombs. It's like being the Nevada test site on Balco. And nobody does anything. Why has nobody done anything? Because the nuclear industry runs this country. Everybody thinks it's the bankers and it's Wall Street. Oh, no. The nuclear industry, they are the puppet masters. They are the, and, you, you know, you think about that photograph of this creepy-ass Judge so-and-so from freaking Texas for her and TEPCO. These people have names and addresses. These people are human beings, and we just sit back and let them mass murder us with no retaliation whatsoever. You know, we bitch and we don't do anything. You know, we need to organize mass protests. You know, as the young man in Tucson called me, and he says, you know, I'm trying to organize a million men. We need not, I mean, I was involved with the inception of Occupy Wall Street. I argued about the name. I argued about the place. They had the energy. The energy was there. I tried to time it with the shirtwaist fire as my post-ignorance gig. 
We need to protest at Westinghouse and GE's headquarters. We need to protest at the board of directors and the CEO's houses, Monsanto's house. We need to go to their homes. That's where we need to put the fear of God in these Mary Antoinette creeps. They're murdering us, and we sit back and do nothing. Let them eat cake. Well, they're eating their own fucking cake now. You read this fucking report, and you tell me. This is the Wall Street Journal fucking themselves, the repressors. And I'm going to talk about MIT themselves put out a propagandist piece of shit. MIT is the evil of evil. They're the nuclear freaking taxpayer propagandists. Gina McCarthy, Ernest, all of them. Walsh, the, uh, the CNN dog and pony show. Them creepy fuckers. Sorry about that. You know, you can say whatever you want about me. Because I'm full of AML leukemia, giving less than 1% chance six months after Fukushima happened. Say whatever you want about me. Say about my language. Say about the way I do things. I don't care. You know, I, I really don't care. I, I could give a damn about what the baby boomer, echo boomer, thinks about me. Because they're a pathetic, pathetic populist of people. They are pathetic. They support their very repressors. The baby boomer and the echo boomer is like the woman who's married to a man that's sexually abusing her children and she supports the man. That's exactly what the populace is. This is Uncle Pam's cabin on Balco. And will anything happen? Yeah, when all these baby boomers die as the populace is going to peak soon. And I'm telling you, the only people are going to be killed by this? <laughs> Cancer is going crazy already. You know, I wish I would have fled to South America when the surfers went and they invited me down there. What's the answer? I don't know now. I don't know. When I read this, wow, we are so fucked. Stay in tune. It.